The Cheeto Mod for Minecraft Pocket Edition will allow you to create thousands of new blocks within the game. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to download and install the mod for Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.19. So, the first thing you want to do is go to the first link in the video description, and that is going to take you off to the Google Play Store or the App Store, depending on which device you are using. And once you're there, you want to click on the Install button, where it says Cheetah Mod Minecraft Pocket Edition. So just go ahead and click on this Install button, and then the app will begin to download for you. Once the Cheetah Mod is downloaded, you want to click on the green Open button right here, and it is going to go ahead and open up the app for us. And then once the app is open, you want to go ahead and click on allow to allow the Cheetah Mod to access photos, media, and files on your device. So just go ahead and click on that um, allow button. And then once you're inside the app, what you want to do is click on the enter button right here in green. So whenever you click on this enter button right here, it is going to go ahead and give you a detailed explanation of everything the mod does. And once you read this explanation, then you can go ahead and click on the green next button right here and right now there is going to be an ad so you can just click on this little x right here to close out of the ad and then what you want to do is you want to click on the green install button and that is going to go ahead and install the mod and the ad will show up again so just go ahead and close out of the ad right here and now once you close out of that ad you want to click on this launch button in order to launch with minecraft to start the import so just go ahead and click on this launch button and then minecraft pocket edition 1.19 is automatically going to load up for us so as you can see right here, it says import started, and then it is going to say successfully imported once it is done importing. So there we go. We have imported the Cheetah Bedrock Edition resource pack. So now that the resource pack is imported, what you want to do is you want to click on the settings button right here. And this is going to go ahead and take us to our Minecraft settings. Once you're here, you want to scroll down until you find the global resources section. So you wanna click on this global resources and then it's gonna show my packs. So what you wanna do is click on where it says my packs and then you want to select the Chisel Bedrock Edition resource pack and you wanna click on this activate button. And now as you can see right here under our active pack section, if we click on this, we have the default Minecraft texture pack and then we also have the Chisel Bedrock Edition texture pack activated. Alright, everybody, so once you finish activating the resource pack in the settings, you want to go ahead and click on the back arrow at the top left corner of your screen. And then once you do that, you want to click on the green play button right here. Now, what you want to do is you want to click on create new to create a new Minecraft world. And then you want to click on create new world right up here at the top, the same way you would create any other Minecraft world. And right here, we're going to change our game mode to creative just to make it easier for the tutorial. And you want to scroll down off to the left hand side under the add-on section and under the add-on section you want to click on where it says resource packs and then you want to click on my packs select the chisel and be its bedrock pack and then click activate and then you want to do the exact same thing for the behavior pack so just click activate for that and then click on continue and boom now we have our bedrock edition chisel pack activate in the behavior pack section and we also have it activated in the resource pack section so now that we have all of the pack activated, we can go ahead and click on the create button to go ahead and launch the Minecraft world. And as you can see, it is going to save the resource world pack and then it's going to go ahead and begin to load up the Minecraft world for us. Alright everybody, so after a few minutes, your new Minecraft world will go ahead and load up. And once you're inside of the world, what you can do is grab a stone cutter from the inventory, which I have right here. And then you can pick pretty much any block. For this example, I'm going to use coal blocks. So what you want to do is just grab a block of coal and then click on your stone cutter and just put the block of coal in the top section. And then you can see all of these new different block types that you can create with the coal. So like if we wanted to create this one right here, then we could click OK. And then boom, we have a new variant of a coal block. And so that is pretty much all you need to do in order to use this mod. It's actually extremely simple easy and fun so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial special thanks to the creators of the mod they did a fantastic job thank you guys for watching and have a great day